Welcome, you're watching BTW 21 News. Thank you very much for spending part of your day with us. I'm Luis Romero, and this is Martinsville and Henry County's only daily newscast. There's a lot that we have to cover, a lot of things that we have to update you on, and some other things that we have to share with you. And we hope that everyone was able to enjoy the weekend. Uh, very wet weekend, but thankfully there was no snow for those that do not like the snow. But again, hopefully you were able to, to, say, to stay dry. So let's start off with the update to last Monday night's shooting. We now know that police have arrested the suspect. Again, police uh, arrested that individual, which was the suspect of the shooting that occurred in the area of Fayette and Spencer Street around 6.40 p.m. Again, last Monday night. 19 year old Jasoni Hairston of Martinsville was found at the scene suffering from a gunshot wound to his leg, according to police. Hairston was taken to the hospital in Martinsville and then to one in Roanoke. 23 year old Tamarius Kishan Martin of Martinsville was arrested and charged with malicious wounding, use of a firearm in the commission of a felony, and shooting into an occupied building. All of those charges are felony. Martin is being held without bond. We're now talking about news in um, Henry County, and we're talking about a, tr a crash. This crash took place on the bypass on a Sunday evening. We can tell you that this was a single vehicle crash. Again, took place in the uh, 1200 block of Willamette Stone Highway. That is about two miles before the Fieldale exit. This is also known to many of you as the 220 bypass. The call came on at 5.15 p.m. Again, all taking place on Sunday. And according to the preliminary investigation and what some of the individuals could see there at the scene, the white Volvo XC90 was going southbound when it went through the median and uh, stopped at the northbound lanes of the bypass. It does appear that that vehicle, you know, overturned in the process. And it, of course, in these photos that were uh, provided to us by the Field of Volunteer Fire Company, you can see that that um, Volvo is on its side. The driver was reported to be injured. We are also told that a small child was in the vehicle but was not hurt as she was secured in a car seat. So there shows the importance of making sure that you wear your seatbelt and you secure your loved ones, especially of young age. The Field of Volunteer Fire Department Company, Horse Pasture Volunteer Fire Department, Field of Collinsville Volunteer Rescue Squad, Henry County Department of Public Safety, and Virginia State Police. Of course, that incident remains under investigation of state police. Continue to talk about crashes, this time on the other side of the county, or I should say uh, closer to the city. We're talking about, uh, in case you, you did not see this on our social media pages, that a 18 wheeler crashed into the bridge there. This is the Smith River Bridge, but it is directly on top of the um, Greensboro Road, and it is at the spillway there near the, the, the flea market, the Riverside Flea Market and Riverside Tire. And again, uh, it has a Greensboro Road address, of course, technically in Henry County. Crews were called to that single vehicle collision, again, involving that 18 wheeler that appears to have veered too much to the left and crashed into the bridge at around 8.30 a.m. on Saturday. As we initially reported, the, the caller stated that, number one caller stated that was due to a medical emergency. We spoke with state police. They said they couldn't confirm that. The elderly male driver of that uh, tractor trailer was checked out by Ridgeway District uh, Rescue Squad and uh, did not go to the hospital. Um, at this time, it's still unsure if that was a medical emergency, but it has not been ruled out. As always, we will continue to keep you updated with additional information again on that incident. And again, um, the bridge was closed, of course, after this collision took place. And uh, we know that, uh, you know, the crews had to come in there and inspect it to make sure that it was safe for drivers to continue to uh, get on that bridge. Moving on now to news in Franklin County, we are going to be warning you along or sharing some information about a warning to a scam that has hit uh, Franklin County. And of course, since there are neighbors, it could happen here in Henry County. So you should be aware that the Franklin County Sheriff's Office wants to share information. And they say that this is all related to a newly present scam that has victimized a resident in their county. 
Recently, a resident uh, reported that they received a call from someone claiming to be a AEP representative and informing them that their electric bill was passed due and that they must pay that to keep the power turned on. The resident claims that uh, he was given specific instructions on how to access a Bitcoin kiosk to deposit money to pay the bill. Now this, as you know, is slightly different from the typical gift card purchases or paying with your account number over the phone and their tactics that they use. The Sheriff's Office wants to remind you that companies will not call you and tell you that you have to pay something over the phone. Number two, they will use uh, online portals with secure logins or paper invoices to take care of bill payments. Number three, no legitimate company, business, or agency will ask you to pay a fee via a gift card or Bitcoin. When in doubt, you should simply hang up, find the main phone number to that business, call back and ask them to check your account for any discrepancies. If you own a balance, then the office will be able to inform you of that. And again, those are all reminders from the Sheriff's Office there in Franklin County. So please make sure that again, if you're in doubt, simply hang up, call that number again, and you will get the truth behind uh, what could be a potential scam. You do not want to be scammed out of your hard earned money. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We've uh, talked about a lot in Martin and Henry County, Franklin County, and we're going to be talking about the region and what you, be you should be expecting with weather after this break. Hi, Barry Nelson here, Nelson Kia Subaru. We've got new cars. Hadn't been able to say that in a while, but we've got them. Got a brand new 2023 Crosstrek Limited. That's got everything. That's our best seller. Got a brand new 2023 Outback Touring and dark mahogany. That's a beautiful color, brand new color for the year. Come by and see it. Got a brand new 2022 Ascent. And we'll give you a deal. We're going to knock $5,000 off. Come get it while it lasts. Got a brand new Kia. Nero Touring that's loaded. It's a hybrid. This car gets 46 miles to a gallon when it uses gas. Got a brand new Nero EV. That means no gas. Only at Nelson Kia where everybody knows cars cost less. Are you looking for a realtor? One that is hardworking? honest and knows the area. Also willing to respond to phone calls and answer texts and emails on a timely fashion. Look no further. My name is Cameron Kolinsky. I'm a proud agent with Blue Ridge Mountain Real Estate serving Patrick, Henry, Martinsville and surrounding counties. I have experience with clients dealing in land, residential and commercial listings. My top priority is customer satisfaction and making sure that my clients needs and wants are met. Consider it sold with Cameron Kolinsky, Realtor with Blue Ridge Mountain Real Estate. Hey, come see us at Martinsville Urgent Care. We're located at 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia. Our telephone number is 276-634-0010. Our hours of operation are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We do offer time slots now, so you can call us and get that scheduled so you will not have to wait. Don't forget to come see us at Morton's for Urgent Care, 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia, 276-634-0010. Call us to get your Welcome back and thank you for staying with us for BTW 21 News. We're going to turn it over to Dustin Staples who we should be um, holding accountable. He told us that we could see some snow um, and we did not. So in case you're a snow lover, make sure you uh, send Dustin a uh, friendly email to make sure that uh, you know our forecast continues to be accurate but he did say you know there was a chance of it uh, and weather can be ever-changing but Dustin take it away. 
All right, folks, happy Monday. Of course, we saw a lot of rain. Some areas did get picked up a sleet. A little bit of snow was in part of Patrick County, which then prompts schools to go virtual for today. So a lot of your students were at home on Monday for the virtual learning aspect of that. And no more cold weather. Well, winter weather is expected. Looks like not much anytime soon. So, hey, another nice day today. It's going to get warmer from here. We'll see sunny skies out there coming into play. A lot of our clear skies moving in pretty clear and cool tonight. 46 there by 8 p.m. will dip down to 41. Our lows tonight, thanks to allowing of the clear skies in place, we are going to see our temperatures fall like a rock as this will be the trend uh, for us tonight. Temperatures again are going to range anywhere between 30 uh, 6 to right around 32, 33 degrees for everybody for majority of our hometowns. So again, anywhere from Boone's Mill down to Rocky Mount down towards uh, Ararat and Woolwine there. 33 in Ridgeway will do it down to freezing here in the city in Martinsville, Henry County regions. Uh, Sandy Level, Axton, as you make your way towards uh, Stanley Town, Bassett, Phildale communities, they're coming in at 34 outside of Oak Level. If you make your way up towards Snow Creek, Sontag communities there, Sidnersville along 220, a very cool and crisp night. Now, something going to also notice, it's going to be less wind out there. So we've been kind of contending with this wind for the last couple of days. It is going to begin to calm down as you make your way towards Tuesday. Now, the winds will begin to pick back up later in the week. Now, moving on out to Tuesday tomorrow. Again, a lot of clouds in the morning or in the afternoon. We'll see a mix of sun to start the day. Very warm and unseasonably warm for this time of year. 64 Rocky Mount, 63 Woolwine, 60 Ararat, same story in Stewart, 65 in Ridgeway, 62 here in the city and 63 in Oak Level. So a very warm afternoon. Let the kids run out on recess. Again, some of your mud holes, mud puddles may be able to need to dry out a little bit. Again, we've been pretty uh, wet here recently, so maybe you can let the, the sun do its magic. So maybe, of course, uh, you might have noticed you did not want to go outside as much thanks to the warm or thanks to the wet weather, not the warm weather. That's not an excuse to go outside. But yeah, 62 tomorrow. We're giving tomorrow a 9 out of 10. Let's get on now to your um, forecast here. As you do see here, I'm going to pull up another graphic as I'm going to be talking with you here. As you do see that our temperatures are going to remain pretty mild and warm over the next several days. Temperatures at best are going to maybe approach 70 almost in some recent in some of our hometowns on Thursday. Now as you are getting ready to get the week ahead, just do know that we will begin to see those um, chances of rain increase once again. Stick around again. We'll have a lot more programming coming up after this. Hi, my name is Dr. Kafer Zentmeyer here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. It's our goal to create wellness in all areas of life here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. We are a neurologically based, state-of-the-art facility in the beautiful Martinsville Henry County area. With our technique and our technology, we're able to get down to the root cause of any health concerns you may have and then correct them from inside out. We'd love for you to come by and check us out. We take care of personal injuries, car accidents, pregnant women, babies, and people of all ages. We love serving families through the principle of chiropractic care. So come on down to Zip My Chiropractic where we can help you remain in health as a lifestyle for a lifetime. So please come see us here at Zip My Chiropractic. We are located here on the corner of Kings Mountain Road and Virginia Avenue. Our address is 3652 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville, Virginia. And our phone number is 276-647-5555. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Danville. We've been here for 25 years now and we built a building that was bigger than what we needed when we, when we first started. We've just about filled that place now. One of the things that we really do is we value our employees. We know it takes a long time for them to learn the skills, but people's skills are hard earned. So we make sure that there is a job for them every day of the week, 52 weeks of the year. So even if we're quiet, 
and we don't need people. A lot of businesses still lay people off, send people home. We don't do that. If you want to come to work, we will find you a job because we value the skills that you've learned with us and we want you to stay here and we want you to feel valued. And we want you as a family to go home and say, I'm always going to get a paycheck if I turn up to work for Drake. Welcome back. Thank you for sticking along with us for BTW 21 News. We're going to be talking about sports now, and we're talking about uh, the game that we covered on Saturday. Looks like our team went to Patrick and Henry Community College where they uh, faced off the uh, Dolphins. I know that they're the Dolphins with uh, the Lady Pats being victorious. Oh, wow. It feels outstanding. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of the things that we wanted to do, number 21 shoots the ball well for them. So the first point of, con well, first point of content was to shut her down. So Destiny Harris, Martinsville was able to do that. So that was great. And then after that, we just let our offense flow. So, you know, as you saw, it runs through Nene, Tanasia, Nene Witcher from Gretna. So the offense runs through her. And between her, and Nas uh, Natalia Nascimento, and Parisia Singletary, we feel pretty comfortable. And also, I'm almost messing her name up, so I'm just going to call her Q. Uh, Tunstall from Chatham, we can always depend on her down below. Matter of fact, I think she had about 20 points tonight. Feel pretty good. We've won a number of games out of the last, uh, you know, five or six games that we played. So going into playoffs, I think we're kind of finding that spot, finding our place. Hey, great question. Yes, as a matter of fact, we've actually doubled our wins from last year to this year. And if you go back a couple of years, we probably over three times our wins. So we just want to continue to grow, continue to get better, uh, continue for our players to understand the game better, um, trying, to develop in their, trying to develop their basketball IQ. But the ultimate goal, obviously, is to make sure they graduate and move on to a four-year college. Resilient. They are absolutely resilient. Um, you know, they realized that coming off of that loss, that was an opportunity for us to really win one on the road, and we didn't take advantage of it. So we were not going to go down that road tonight. Huge. Uh, you know, when we're playing teams and they want to play us in um, zone, hope not giving away too much here, is that we shoot the three ball very well. As you saw, Tynasia Witcher shoots it well, Destin Harrison shoots it well, Parisa, uh, Natalia Nascimento, Savannah. I'm very fortunate. I got about five or six players that all can shoot the three ball extremely well. Great. Feel great. You know, we go to Central Carolina on Wednesday. Uh, that's going to be a tough one, but the uh, toughest going to be back here on Friday against Catawba Valley. That's going to be a challenge, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, we lost Tuesday night by one, so we wanted to come in today, defensive status, and get the win to get us back in the playoff. Nah, I felt like Stephen Curry. Uh, we need to work on um, boxing out and rebounding and second chest points. But on offense, we moved the ball pretty good, so that was a good thing tonight. He told us pick up the pace and second chance because we in the first half we weren't really playing good defense. So he told us to step up our defense and we did. Uh, most teams play us in man, so we like to drive and kick. So we. We practice driving and kicking and knocking down shots because most teams play us in help defense. And um, just playing our game of basketball, just really playing PH, like PH women's basketball, like we know how to play, not what we want to do, like playing team ball. That's really what the plan was today. Giving them second chance shots and to play our game. Really. That's all I've really said. Um, second chance shots, really like letting them get the ball and putting it back up, rebounding, talking when like somebody's cutting down. That's where a lot of their points came from is backdoor cuts and really just picking up on our defense a little bit better. We play, we play good defense, but we play when we want to play it. It helped us a lot. After the loss on Tuesday, it really like knocked us down. So we had to pick it back up and get back to where we know we can be at. I feel good. A little nervous because it's my first year, but I feel good. I mean, um, we feel good. Um, you know, we're just trying to build up on the things that you know where we uh, failed at uh, when we played Lewisburg our last game. So I think we're just trying to, you know, just pick up the pieces and continue building, and you know, make sure we get in the playoff uh, just spot. Um, yes, I do feel mo more momentum. I feel like everyone's playing well together offensively and defensively. De defensively, I'm sorry. And, um, you know, we're just trying to 
just keep it together, you know what I'm saying, make sure we focus on our strengths and work on the weaknesses as well. So, you know, yeah. Uh, well, for one, we really need to work on rebounding um, and giving them second chance points. That's really where we kind of, you know, came up short in each and every game that we've lost or come close to losing. Um, and I think, you know, once we get that together and, you know, build up off that, then we'll be great. We'll be great in the playoff contention and everything. So, um, Well, I feel like that means a lot because it shows that we're resilient. We're showing that, you know, we're willing to, you know, push through even though it was a bad game, a bad loss at that as well. So it's just good to know that everyone's on the same page and everyone's willing to do any and everything to win. I am getting so hot, I won't take my clothes off. Pete, why are you dancing naked again? Because it's hot in here. It's hot in here because you won't turn the heat down. We get such a good deal on propane from up there, PVT Express. We ain't never got to turn the heat down. Well, you should, and you need to put your clothes back on. PVT Express now has Propane Express. You don't have to wait in line or even go inside with their pay window. For the best prices on propane, it's PVT Express. 608 Stoltz Road in Martinsville. Parents have one main question. Is the COVID vaccine safe for their child? Yes, it is. More than 9,000 babies and children under the age of five participated in the trials, and there were no new, new safe health concerns. And more than 10 million kids, ages 5 to 11, have already been vaccinated against COVID. And I think that's simply amazing. Thank you for sticking along for BTW 21 News. Let's turn it over now uh, to our crime report. As always, this is brought to you by our friends at Apex Bell Bonds. to a Martinsville, Virginia, charged with intoxication in public. Jason Barnes, 44, Bassett, Virginia, charged with intentionally damage any property. Petty larceny and trespassing with the intent to damage property. Harley Hodges, 27, Bassett, Virginia, charged with intoxication in public. Emma Sue Mullins, 20 of Collinsville, Virginia, charged with petty larceny. Michael Rakes, 37 of Ridgeway, Virginia, charged with simple assault against family member in violation of protective order. Cody Rosaliti, 19 of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with grand larceny, $1,000 or more. Pamela Rosaliti, 49 of Axton, Virginia, charged with grand larceny, $1,000 or more. Nikki Schrodinger Milliser, 44 of Bassett, Virginia, charged with intoxication in public. Martinsville First Savings Bank has been serving Martinsville and Henry County since 1924. Feel free to stop by or call for more information on how our checking, savings, money market, and certificates of deposit can help you meet your financial goals. If you are tired of 800 numbers or online customer service, please contact us. We are local people making local decisions. Visit our office at 25 West Church Street in Uptown Martinsville or call 276-638-638. 8771.
watching BTW 21 News, and thank you very much for sticking along with us. Obituaries by Bassett Funeral Service are next. James Lewis Brown, 77, of Martinsville, passed away Saturday, February the 4th, 2023. The funeral was held Thursday, February the 9th at 1 p.m. at Wright Funeral Service Chapel. Visitation was one hour prior to that service. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. Online condolences can be made by visiting wrightfuneralservices.net. Charles Lee Price, 88, of Martinsville, passed away Friday, February the 3rd, 2023. All services will be private. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. Online condolences may be made by visiting wrightfuneralservices.net. Sandra May Harrison Wilson, 70, of Collinsville, passed away Monday, February the 6th, 2023. The funeral was held Saturday, February the 11th at 11.30 a.m. at Reach Out Apostolic Church. Visitation was 30 minutes prior to that service. Mother Lucy Maud Harrison Green gained her wings on Monday, February the 6th, 2023. A visitation service was held on Saturday, February the 11th, at 11.30 a.m. The funeral service was held at 12 p.m. at Harrison Funeral Home. Harbors. Harbor Towing and Recovery is expanding. 4173 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville. Harbor now offers custom tire and wheels with advanced technology. Automotive repair? No problem for Harbor. From simple repair to major semi-trucks, Harbor's got you covered. Oil changes, brakes, front end alignment on any size vehicle or trucks. And remember, 24-hour towing. So you tell the police to call Harbor Towing, 276-632-2580. Bassett Funeral Service was founded in 1996 by Darrell B. Martin and Paul T. Kennedy, Jr. We started as a small funeral home in Bassett, and in 2007, we went to one of the largest funeral homes in Martinsville and Henry County. We started with 3,200 square feet, and in 2007, went to over 20,000. Bassett Funeral Service is located at 3665 Ferrystone Park Highway in the town of Bassett. 276-629-1770. Carlisle is an independent college preparatory school located in Axton, Virginia. Founded in 1968, the school sets the standard for excellence in education. At Carlisle, we provide a challenging, nurturing, safe learning environment where students are encouraged to reach their true potential in the classroom, on the stage, or in athletics. You can afford a Carlisle education. Are you looking for a fresh cut steak? Stop by the Sirloin House where we offer hand cut steaks daily. Enjoy our world famous sirloin tips or our chicken tips. We also offer fresh seafood and plate lunches that start at $7.99 for a meat and two. Come see us at 207 South Van Buren Road in Eden, North Carolina and follow us on Facebook for all our specials. Call us at 336-623-7778 for all your carry out or catering needs. How'd they take care of you today, sir? Excellent, man, excellent. They're always good down here. They'll take time to go through and help tell you stuff you don't know if you have questions. And believe me, I've asked them plenty of questions. How long have you been coming here? Two or three years. I've seen ads, I've heard people talk about them, clean lot, come in here, get out about them. Too much fear of having flat tires. I've been on some places where it's like, oh man, it's gonna cost me more than I'm gonna make. West pays more, that's for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna wrap it up here for this uh, 30 minutes of news in the Monday edition of your daily newscast, the only daily newscast in Martinsville and Henry County. As always, head on over to btw21.com, stay updated with the latest breaking news in your neighborhood. We'll see you tomorrow for the Tuesday edition.